Uh, Jamal Finkley, Black Tree TV. Thank you. Go ahead. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You, I'm going to give you a gold star. You're the only journalist who's ever signed this. <laughs> Thank you. you Thank you very much. First, um, Madeline, I, I really, I mean, I go back. I really, I, I loved your, your, your character in Children of a Lesser God. And um, I, I want to take you back to that moment. I know that's 34 years ago. But when you made your, your movie debut and was able to win an Oscar, how much did that mean for the deaf community to be represented in that way? In all honesty, at the time, 34 years ago, I didn't realize the impact that this would have on the deaf community and the community in general to have a movie with a character who was deaf playing authentically a character at, with a major studio. I did not realize at 21 years old how much and how people were really desperate to see a character like that played on screen. I didn't understand the lack of representation of my culture, of the disabled community. I didn't understand any of that until I journeyed through Hollywood and began to see and began to understand the frustrations of many and the progress that I made and until I got a little bit older. And then I realized by having more conversations with people and listening to stories and listening to their experiences, listening to their hopes, their dreams and their desires, I began to understand the importance of representation. So I'm glad to where we ended up today. I'm glad for the audience to see this film and to see more barriers being broken, to removing all the isms in Hollywood that are out there and to give more opportunities for deaf actors, writers, directors. 34 years is a long time for stuff to not change. So there you go. I know in 1995, you testified uh, in front of Congress to help get a law that TVs before smart TVs would have closed captioning. How much has streaming and these streaming platforms like Apple TV Plus with the captioning all built in, how much has that helped deaf audiences be able to enjoy um, more entertainment on, on screen? You wouldn't believe I mean, listen, I love television. I watched it all my life. I loved movies. The Wizard of Oz was a movie that I loved every time it was shown on television. I made it a point of watching it. But remember, I watched it without captions. And then when finally MGM decided to show it with captions, and the first time it was available on videotape with captions, I watched it and I was, I, I was shocked because all those years I watched a story that I made up in my head. I didn't know what the story was really about. And it was the complete opposite of what I thought when I saw the captions. And that movie changed my entire perspective on the importance of captions. I was shocked. So from that point on, when captions first started to appear, I couldn't miss a single, whether it was Three's Company or all the other shows that began to get captions. And I thought to myself, you know what, why is it so limited? Why should they choose what we can and can't watch? Why are some shows captioned? Why are shows not captioned? So I decided that I had to make it into a law. And that's what you said, and that's what happened. I know you said uh, uh, you spoke about representation earlier. And I, I mean, from my perspective, the last uh, couple of years, we've had, you know, Sound of Metal. We, we've had Quiet Place. Um, you have a show coming out on NBC, and we have this great movie coda um do you do you see more uh deaf actors deaf crew members deaf directors um getting opportunities uh today and i know it's not enough but do, do, do you see that happening a lot more i do I, I do it's there i know it's not enough but it's there and i can't bitch about it because I'm one who believes in the long haul of it all. You know, I believe that it's important to give people the opportunity to do what they want to do, but at the same time, understand that uh, we have deaf children out there who need mentors and role models to look up to. 
and we need to have um, whatever it is to a message that to let children know you can do whatever it is you want to do so um i think as you said we're seeing greater representation and i'm very excited about that but i don't want this to be the flavor of the year so to speak you know i need to see this continue on Why is it always about you? I'm meeting people. I'm making friends. You know what? You should get out in the world, too. Yeah. When you look at the world in general, I know America has ASL, and I know that there's, you know, there must be uh, some resources here in America, but when you go to other countries, um, the people that are deaf, do, do they have uh, the similar resources as we have in America, or, or is America unique in that fashion? I think we have, well, for example, we have the Americans with Disabilities Act here, which protects our rights. And I and thanks to Judy Human and Jim, Le, people like Jim Lebrecht, who, which you saw their journey in that film Crip Camp, um, who made our laws happen. But I, I think that you might say, I believe that different countries operate on a different level. A lot of them don't even have the access to rights, um, particularly when we're talking about captions. Instead, you'll see just interpreters on screen. Um, and I, I know a few places, a few countries are advanced and equal to what we have, but the majority do not provide people who are deaf or disabled the same rights. Well, I, I loved this movie. I loved, um, you know, unfortunately, I've, I've lived all my life and haven't had um, much interaction with the deaf community. And I, I think just by watching this on screen, I learned a lot and it's made me want to learn ASL um, so that I could communicate better. And uh, I just wanted to thank you for that. and. And thank you for your movie filling through uh, earlier this year, which I also loved. And uh, keep on doing great things, and 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 we'll keep on watching. Thank you. Thank you for much. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank right. you. Bye bye.